the mind can only go as far as the brain allows. In other words, the mind can't live off of booze and cigarettes and awareness. The body can't sit in a meditation position for hours and hours in the ears. Can't have attention for the world for longer than time. There's traditions in Buddhism that say ego, death. There are traditions who say no mind. There's traditions who say they're going to fuck you up the next time they see you and kill you if they ever see you again. The self possibly physically murder and then the mind dies and there's a brain and body and the body starts doing drugs and the brain starts getting tired and the body starts giving the brain Methamphetamine, crack cocaine, lots of coffee, tons of cigarettes, and relaxes the body with some liquor. Have you ever wondered who's who? Have you ever tried to talk low enough where you don't get in trouble for starting school early when the bully and the harassment aren't awake? To try to figure out who's who? When people wear clothing, when people talk to other people, 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 and everybody gets together and they have a meeting. You ever wondered who's who? In an apartment building, who's who? I had cancer, I had Cordoma, I've been with Community House, this mental health organization for almost eight years off and on, maybe longer. Had three, I think, counselors now. Worked hard, never been arrested, never had someone get hurt from my hands. And I've had people assault me. I've had people kick my door. I've had people say I'm suicidal. I've had people tell the police I'm dangerous. Confused. In disarray. And on and on and on and on and on and on and on.
people like Franny still talk to me, people like Rick, people like Ron, Laura. And who's who helps with trying to get why there's hatred towards a person. There's so much misdirection. And so much police involved for stuff like a light, a bottle. A kitchen knife in a person's hand in their home. Not going into the hallway when the person gestures with their body. Not in the hallway when the person says to Steve, I'm going to fuck you up the next time I see you. To stand in front of them and say, no, sir, you are not going to bully anymore. Not in front of the harassment. Front door to the apartment building to say, Why do you hit my wall? Why are you so mean to me and I'm so nice delivering your mail? Why am I nice keeping my voice low now during the quiet hours and you're so loud all through the night? And why do you say I'm suicidal and dangerous and a risk to everybody's safety? And I'm not allowed to use the heat or else the wall goes. The video shows, the sounds can be heard with the ears, the computers in the landlord's office can process the data and the information that they store from their security system. And they can lie and they can abuse and they can cause more suffering. Everybody in the world has a choice. Everybody in their home has decisions. Brains, bodies, and minds solve problems, brains, bodies, and minds harass and threaten verbally, behaviorally. And cause a lot of damage to people like me who aren't in big groups, who aren't in small little close-knit friendships. And people like me, every so often, don't make it to the classroom to cure cancer and learn about geoengineering. People like me get bullied and get harassed so much we choose
freedom. And then nobody gets bothered. Nobody cries. Nobody stops booze and cigarettes and drugs, loud music all night. The party continues. The violence persists. And people like Steve go to hospitals to go get more medicine. And people like the other neighbors who are willing to interact and have conversations and not rules, not restrictions. Are the hope and emotion for restraint and not the wolf who needs to be fed a meal such as myself. To satisfy the folks on this floor of the apartment building. Pretty girls, tall men with cigarette teeth and liquor tongues, war veterans with beards, and marijuana pipes at the front door. And despair in their eyes, smell, their cohesion, the cohesiveness they all share with one another. Wolf owners and bitches Dangerous, suicidal, mean, and a risk for safety. Have you ever had to not make progress with curing cancer or doing geoengineering to help Oliver and Nola or some other children similar to them to not have climate change when they get older for the sake and the sanity of the social good? Have you ever thought of the duality of not being able to do engineering or schoolwork for mental health? 